There's one there. That was a good tap. Good tap. We're winning time crappie fishing today, guys. How are we catching them? That and more on today's episode. Come on, catch them with me. There's one there. Mm. Mm. Catch that one. Fish, huh? Good wintertime crappie right there. In the box. All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for joining me. Super, super excited to have you out here with me today. Beautiful winter afternoon here, in Southwest Ohio. We're fishing Caesar Creek Lake today. We're after wintertime crappie, guys. I had a couple of requests so far uh, to, to put together a video, uh, a short segment of, of, uh, of what I go through uh, and some of the things that I'm looking for when I'm targeting. Uh, wintertime crappie guys so come on out here with me just for a little bit guys i'm gonna show you how we get on top of these fish and when we do i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm doing to catch these fish guys grab your coat grab something warm to drink sit back and relax wintertime crappie action coming up right now there's one there a little soft bite there a little soft bite come on up yeah, a little white crappie this guy on a middle jig, monkey mill jig, down about 32 feet, right on top of that structure down there. Let's get him back. The first area that we're going to target uh, is a deep water stump system isolated right along a creek channel. Uh, we've got uh, a marker buoy out right now and it's marking that area of cover uh, right along a creek channel and actually right along a creek channel break and I'll explain how just that alone, how, it, how, the, how that system, that cover system uh, being isolated on a break uh, can mean increased numbers of catches of wintertime crappies for you guys. So uh, we're going to uh, put the triple jig rig and a double jig rig on them right now. Let's see how active they are. There's one there. Another one. Bringing them up real slow. Slowly as I can. It's real deep down there. Another little white crappie. Oh, come up here, fella. Yeah, I got this one down about 35 feet of water. Take a look at that guy. We'll go ahead and get him back. He's a little bit small. You know, it had been, it had been cold. Uh, we got a couple of really nice uh, cold fronts that came in and uh, iced the water over uh, pretty good. Even in the back coves, uh, froze things up a bit. Uh, and then it, you know, it abated, and so it didn't freeze the lake over completely. Uh, but it did drop the water temperature considerably. Uh, so water's hovering around 38 degrees right now, and these guys are that we're catching on this stump system uh, down in about uh, about 30. Uh, about 35 feet, we're in about 45 feet of water. So let's get him back. And what we're doing is we're just fishing, we're drifting right over uh, the break uh, where the fish are holding uh, in that stump system. And we're just popping those plastics down right on top of them. There's one there. Boy, you pecked that one soft. Yeah, come on up. I'm on up here. Got a little white crappie. Take my time getting them out of there to help them depressurize a little bit. Down there deep. So what we're doing again, we're just uh, we're, we're just grazing over the top of uh, that stump system with uh, with our plastic. So if you take a look at this image, you'll see uh, those the areas uh, encircled in green. Uh, those are our target systems, our target areas right now. And off there to the right, you can see uh, where the, the, the break actually occurs and it dips down uh, into a little bit of deeper water where some other fish are holding as well. So let's get this guy back in the water. And we will tap him a little bit. There he goes. A lot of times when we're bringing fish up from very, very deep, uh, the uh, crappies, they don't depressurize uh, very easily coming up from deep waters. So to help them depressurize and reset uh, the swim bladders, uh, lightly slapping them against the surface of the water helps them to reset and they can go back to where they uh, where they were. Mm -hmm. There's another one there. Boy, you pecked that one. Fish are so deep, they feel like really good fish. This one actually feels like a better fish. Let's see. 
Not too bad. Yeah, it's a decent white. Come on up here. That was a decent white crappie. Not bad. We'll go ahead and commit him. Mm -hmm. There's one there. Yes, yes, yes. Come on up. Come on up. I know he's pulling kind of hard here. Come on. Another decent one. Yeah. Oh, do some black crappie this time. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Again, what we're doing is to set up on these fish. Uh, we've got a mark a buoy uh, out in about 35 feet of water. It's marking uh, a stump system that's right on the edge uh, of a channel break, and we're just passing those plastics uh, over that stump system into that break right over the crappies to trigger a strike. Again, the buoy is on the edge of the break, and right now we're right in the break with our plastics right now. There's one there. Boy, you feel like a good one. Tap that one, boy. Come on up. All around the boat. Come on up. Yeah, oh my gosh, what a big fish. What a good crappie. What a good crappie. That's what we're talking about. That's a good crappie. Good wintertime black crappie right there, guys. Look at that guy. Inhaled it, didn't he? Good, 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 good fish. Let's get him in the box. Decent fish. Oh. We'll go ahead and commit him. Pretty nice white crappie. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right in the break. Right in the break. Come on up. Down there pretty deep. Come on up here, fella. Oh, yeah. A little small. We'll go ahead and get him back. And again, if you take a look at this image, you can see the stump system circled there in red and the crappies uh, that are circled there in white. And we're right on top of them, uh, picking them off with the Outlaw Special uh, Moglo by Bobby Garland. 116th ounce jig head. Let's get this guy back in the water and get some more fish. Mm hmm. Boy, I love the way they're hitting it. Whew. They are hitting it hard. Oh, this feels like a good fish. Yes, this feels like a good fish. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, he's not hooked real good. Not hooked well. Let's get him in the net. Come on here. Real decent fish. Good wintertime crappie right there, guys. Isn't that nice? Wonderful. Let's get him in the box. Hey guys, you hear me? I, you hear me talk about isolating structure off of a creek channel uh, that has some shad in the area. The reason that we want to do that is very simply: the crappies are feeding off of them, and you can see in this fish's mouth right there, he's got a shad in his mouth right now, indicating that they're feeding on the shad in the area. So, whenever you're isolating structure uh, off of a creek channel, your chances of finding uh, fish in the area are going to go way, way up if there's shad in the area, and your chances for catching them are going to go up as well. Let's get them in the box. Mm-hmm. Ooh, light bite. Boy, it's light bite. Real light bite. Oh, this one's pulling hard, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a good fish. Yeah, another nice, 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 
black crappie on the top jig this time. Let's go ahead and get this guy up here. Another decent fish on the double rig. So we've been uh, casting the, the triple rig, the double rig. And again, uh, you heard me guys talk about the effectiveness of offering a variation in presentation. And what better way to do that than a double rig and triple rig uh, with mixed plastics on them to uh, not only mix it up and give the fish uh, something different to look at, but for, to let them choose what they want. And in which case today, uh, the purple, the uh, outlaw special, and our ghost pattern, Bobby Garland, uh, two and a half inch uh, swim minnows, uh, baby, baby minnows have been working really, really well. So let's get this guy in the box. Get a good look at him. With the shad hanging out of his mouth. And let's get him in the box. All right, guys, so this next area that we're gonna fish is deep timber, deep water, uh, deep water timber. Uh, we're isolated, again, off of a creek channel, tall, tall timber, uh, and I'll explain how uh, much like the uh, stump system that we just fished, being isolated off of a channel break uh, leads to increased catches of crappie, how also this timber being tall uh, and, and full-bodied in nature also uh, will lead to increased uh, catches uh, for crappies and so we've got a marker buoy out marked down about 35 40 feet of water right now we've got some, some fish hovering around the bottom area right now we're going to get down on them with the triple rig uh, and the double jig rig right now let's see how active they are mm -hmm. there's one there another one a little small one feels like i'm on up here yep yeah. a little small white crappie and guys, what we're doing is we take a look at this image. You'll see uh, that circle, circled in red is that trio of, um, of standing timber that we're fishing. And the area in green is uh, where we're fishing. Our, our target is right on top uh, of where those fish are located at the base uh, of, of that standing timber down there. And again, we're just popping on top of them right now, very slowly passing over the top of them uh, to and fro. Uh, with our triple jig right now to pick some uh, some of these little small guys off. Hopefully we'll get into some bigger fish. Let's get back down there and catch some more. There he goes. There's another one there. Yeah, come on up. Feels like a little better one. He feels like a little better one. Yeah, he's pulling hard. Oh yeah, decent fish. Come on up. Yeah. Oh, come in here. Yeah, a decent one. Yes, 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 getting him in the box. Why don't you take a look at this guy? That's a good fish, huh? Good wintertime crappie right there. Get him in the box. Oh, there's one there. Mm -hmm. Pick that one. Come on up. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Come on up here. Nice black crappie. Good fish. Let's get them in the box. When I'm searching for winter crappie, uh, creek channel, cover, and shad are the three elements that I'm looking for, and I'm looking for them together. They're critically important because the crappies relate to all three of those, and if they're together uh, in one location, meaning that if I'm scanning an area of cover that's adjacent to a creek channel, it's got some shad in the area, it gets a waypoint and I go back to that consistently. And so it's important for me because it saves time. We can travel all across the lake and, and the fish may be suspended, high, medium, and low, sometimes uh, hugging the bottom in the deep water basin, sometimes suspended uh, off, of, uh, off of cover, still related to cover. But those three elements combined gives me more of an opportunity to find different pockets and schools of fish more consistently throughout the winter uh, than going around the lake uh, searching for them again which has its has its has its benefits and there's a time and place for that but when it's cold out you want to be able to isolate pockets of staging wintertime crappie as quickly as you possibly can and these three elements creek channel cover and shad put together makes them an easy target for you let's get back to fishing mm, there's one there that feels like a decent fish oh well, it felt like a decent fish let's see yeah, he's fighting a little harder. Ain't a bad fish. Come on up here. Oh, not bad. 
black crappie. Ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. Again, we're just popping right on top of, popping down on top of the cover there. Now, if you take a look at this, uh, the image, uh, the area circled uh, in green is, uh, that's our strike zone. That's our target area. And we're just popping the, popping the plastics down right on top of them to get these guys. We'll go ahead and commit that one. Let's give in the box. Get some more fish. Oh, there's one there. That feels like a decent fish. A better fish. Uh, that ain't too bad. I'm on up there, fella. Nice little black. You know, um, patience, patience, and um, perseverance really is the name of the game uh, out here crappie fishing during the winter time. We had a little bit of sunlight uh, a little bit uh, earlier. It was partly cloudy, uh, but the sun has now since abated, and we've got cloud cover now. We've got a front moving in, and the wind's picked up. And that's a challenge that you have to deal with from time to time because what happens is it causes the, uh, the plastics to appear differently now in terms of a color uh, in the water column. Let's get this guy back in the box. And so don't be afraid uh, to just switch up your colors uh, just a bit, ever so slightly in, uh, in color, maybe from lighter to darker, darker to lighter. Uh, but in either case, just keep the plastics in front of the fish's face as long as you can to trigger the strike. Let's get this guy in the box. All of the areas that we targeted today were areas of cover. They were adjacent to creek channels uh, and they were shad in the area. Those three elements will help you to nail down and target majority numbers of crappies. No question about it, guys. So hopefully that helps, guys. If you have any questions about the tips that I've shared with you today, leave me a comment. If you are enjoying the content, guys, go ahead and click that like button for me. And if you think that someone might be able to benefit from the information that I share it with you today, go ahead and share it with them, guys. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I produce new content, guys. Again, thanks so much for joining us. We had a fantastic day out on the water, guys. Go out, get a line in the water, enjoy yourself fishing, and we'll see you along the way.